One of the many things I love about exploring Ireland as a photographer is you never really know where the next Maureen will take you. While driving around the Bera Peninsula in West Cork, I spotted what seemed to be quite a large waterfall in the distance. A quick turn down a blind path and I was soon stopped in my tracks by the local farmer and landowner. Thankfully, another thing I love about Ireland is the people and I was soon given a pass to go explore further. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me in a place I've never been before. It's a fantastic waterfall that's right behind me. It's called the Mayor's Tail, and I believe from the landowner who I met on the way in here who gave me permission to come in, it's the largest uh, or the highest waterfall in the British Isles. So it's an incredibly impressive place. Not that much of a flow because we hadn't had that much rain over the last couple of days, but we are forecast rain over the next coming days. So I imagine a couple of days from now, this will be a torrent flowing down this extreme cliff. It comes down into a stream which has a number of different boulders. And I hope to get a couple of different compositions as well to get close to the water that's there. I also want to see if I can get a photograph. There's a couple of trees that are uh, wild trees you know, lone trees standing on their own. So I might try and get a photograph of those as well with the waterfall in the background. It's extremely high as well. So it's gonna be hard to be able to get everything into the frame even with a wide lens, but I'm sure I'll manage to get something in here out of this incredible spot. Light right now is quite flat, which is okay. I would like if there was a bit of, you know, pockets of uh, actual light that's breaking through, but challenge with that with water ends you up to play with the highlights and expose for the highlights and such like that whereas with flat light it's actually quite interesting because you get an even spread of light across the subject so yeah different place excited to see what I get today so let's go let's see what this place yields in terms of photographs first composition there now that I've gone for is just coming up, looking straight on to the waterfall, there's a rock that's there in front of me which should act as a good anchor, and then you've got the waterfall going straight back up right behind it. Taking two photographs, taking a, a portrait and a, land, a landscape. Uh, I've also had to do a bracket shot because the rocks are quite dark, so I have to expose for a bit longer to be able to get that um, photograph. And that means that the sky itself then would be blown out. So take a second one for the small tiny bit of sky that I've got remaining in the very, very top of the frame in the portrait orientation and very similar as well to the landscape orientation. I've got my settings at f11 and I'm playing around with different shutter speeds around 15 seconds, uh, 10 seconds and then taking some quick shutter speeds as well. I'm also using the polarizer and my, uh, uh, my ND to enable me to control that light as well a bit further. Stunning uh, spot, the light I think might come, you never know, it might come, there's a couple of gaps that are behind you so the wind is blowing towards me so it might actually light up. But I'm going to continue up this way here, or back up the hill behind me, there's a tree that I mentioned earlier, I'm going to see if I can get that in a frame and then after that I'm going to go down close to the action in the waterfall. So yeah, let's go. <laughs>
set up a shot here now with this tree that you can see here and I had a small bit of light as well that had come just as I was taking the photograph so I think it was illuminated nicely but I'm framing it to the left hand side of the frame and then the cascade of the waterfall coming down from the top across the, the frame and down to the bottom right I think it's a nice shot there's another tree as well now closer to the waterfall which I'll probably look at and there's also a couple of trees that are behind me here which have a beautiful view back out into the uh, the, 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 the bay that's behind me here on the Bear Peninsula. So yeah, second shot, I think it's nice. Still nowhere near the waterfall, but I still think it's going to be a lovely photograph. I'll go to the tree over here, and then I'll go to the three trees that are there as well, and I'll check back in then when I get down close to the water itself. I thoroughly enjoyed my mooch around this area here all on my own what a fantastic place to explore it was really nice of the landowner to let me come on his land to have a look at this spectacular waterfall I also sent the drone around as well and it is a high waterfall above it is a lake which is absolutely stunning I don't know if you can get up there or not pretty high but I think it'll be a nice place actually to get some nice photographs from today Maybe I'll come back here again, who knows, but I'm going to sign out for this episode of my vlog. Thank you very much, as always, for joining. If you're first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlong the phone.